Welcome to the part 2 of the camera tracker for After Effects 201 training series. In this video, we'll be creating a light painting graffiti effects with the Trap Code Particular plugin on our tracked sequence. Let's start with the track from the first part. After we track the shot, the next thing that we're going to do is to um, make this person actually walking in 3D space so that the light streak can actually go behind the person. Uh, to do that, we have to bring in uh, the roto pass. Also, uh, duplicate the camera that we just created. Uh, we, uh, we just solve uh, from the camera tracker, just name it uh, camera new, unparent it, and delete off the keyframe, also reset the camera so it goes to uh, the original position. And also we have to pair in the, the roto uh, pass to the new camera. In order to let the roto pass scale proportionally toward the camera so that we can get the roto pass in the correct 3D position, we have to apply the following expression. And you can get the full expression in the associated After Effects project file available off our website. If we drag along the C-axis, the person is actually scaling proportionally to the camera. It's following around uh, along the camera and scaling based on the view of angle of the camera. Whoops, forgot to parent the new camera back to the um, null object. And let's copy and paste that again. Our new camera is actually walking on the same path as the original track camera since we have copy and paste the keyframe from here to the uh, duplicated camera. And what I'm going to do next is basically drag this person close to the camera and I want his feet just touching the ground. Uh, when we toggle back to the active camera and toggle back to the 2D view, this person's actually perfectly patching on top of our original background. So let's toggle back to the custom view and uh, a no object. So basically I just want to line up the null object with the person. So put a keyframe over here and also So now we have this null object. And the next thing that we're going to create is a light. Cuz we we're going to use the light as the emitter. So let's name it emitter A. <clears throat> Parent the light to the camera tracker null object. And then copy and paste the position emitter. Delete the keyframe and parent the emitter to um, the null object. And also apply an expression. Um, type in time times 500. So the null object is going to keep spinning. It's going to keep spinning around the person. So um, maybe give it a value of 38. 
So now the um, the light, the emitter is basically like a satellite orbiting around this person. And now we're going to create a solid for a particular particular. Also switch the emitter type to light. Turn everything into zero. And now you can see a bunch of circle going around and around and around. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, go to visibility, obscuration layer, and select the rotoman layer. So the light strike is actually going behind the person. And now we're going to tweak around with the uh, light strike. Switch it to strictly increase the particle per second. And now we're going to tweak around with the opacity, also this size over life. Uh, I'm just going to keep the size over life like this. And the opacity over life like this. And also I want to make the emitter going up and down, up and down. Just go to keyframe the y-axis of the anchor point and go up. That's about right. And negative 30. And I'll click the uh, stopwatch, apply an expression again, go to property and loop out. So now it's actually keep looping. Also change the color. A little bit of glow on the light strike. Let's create emitter B. Well, we can just reset the um, <clears throat> particular and go back to light, emitter B should be good. Let's turn off particular A first for now. Let's unparent uh, emitter B to for, uh, away from the null object. Bring emitter B over here. Apply some wind to the C position, a negative position. Also the wind to X. And we don't need to emit that many particles per seconds, so just reduce it down to 8 per seconds and go to the OX system. Let's switch it to continuously, also the particle per seconds. The original particle down to zero, because we are not going to use it anymore. Maybe reduce it down to six. Under physics. Go to turbulence effect position. Also apply the, um, also go to visibility, apply rotoman so everything is going to go behind him. I'm going to switch the, tr uh, the blending mode to add. Also I did some extra work in the final result and it can be seen in the downloadable After Effects project. And that's the end of the second part of the tutorial.